welcome to another video so today we are going to discuss why the prediction of machine learning models can never be entirely error free so we know that in the world of machine learning the accuracy is everything so you strive to make your model more accurate by tuning and tweaking the parameters but in general and in reality they are never able to make it 100% accurate when they, they work on real time data and that is the hard truth about your prediction or classification models and that means they are they can never be entirely error free so in this uh, video i will try to uh, present one intuitive analysis based on statistical learning that uh, that why this happens and what are the different time types of errors that can be reduced in machine learning okay now uh, let's take an example okay suppose we are observing a response variable y and which is a dependent variable which can be a qualitative or quantitative uh, measure uh, measurable variable and and it depends on suppose we assume that it depends on a independent input variable x which is also can be decomposed into seven uh, p predictors so x1 x2 x3 up to xp so this is basically a vector okay so in general so this p input variable also called the predictors suppose suppose they are predictor and they helps to predict our dependent variable y and and also this predictors also also can be called as features of to and these features will help us to predict y okay now obviously there will be a relationship between y and x right and so how we can represent y in terms of x or that in general we can represent y as a function of x plus epsilon that is a that is a unmeasurable error random error term okay and what is this x a, a, what is this f this f is a uh, represent a systematic information that that x provides about y okay so so in general th there is a unmeasurable random factor and there is a function a which actually uh, help us to to represent y in terms of x right so what is our next task So our next task will be to estimate this relationship or estimate this uh, fx and this is called statistical learning okay now now in statistical learning what we are going to do we are going to we are going to find out a function f okay we are going to find out some function f the original function fx we are going to estimate this original function fx so i am just writing it as f cap x cap and that will be x okay so we have to going to find out this function f that that will capture the relation between the y and x right so for if this for some unknown x unknown x is given to me that means x1 x2 up to xp is given to me then i can predict some y okay so y cap will be a cap of x so this will going to be our prediction model right or learning model so so our learning model or our prediction model will be a cap of x that will help us to predict y for some readily available some some unknown 
x is given so unknown x1 to xp is given then i can estimate that value through using this f cap of x right so this is the concept of statistical learning or in prediction model right okay so the next question is that uh, the how the accuracy of y cap as a prediction for y depends on two quantities and which we are going to call that reducible error and the irreducible error okay so in general the we are we are uh, estimating f so we are getting f cap function right so after statistical learning or machine learning so f cap will not be a perfect estimate of f okay so there will be some error obviously there will be some error suppose f minus f cap okay and this is we are calling that uh, so in general this f cap will not be a perfect estimate for f and this inaccuracy will introduce some error and this error we are calling that reducible error because we can potentially improve the accuracy of f cap by using the most appropriate statistical learning technique to estimate f and however even if it were possible to form a perfect estimate for a so that our estimated response took the form uh, suppose f cap is uh, f cap is completely equal to f suppose almost equal to f then our prediction will be y cap equal to f of x okay so in this case also our prediction would still have some error in it because our original because the original model will be like this fx plus this epsilon this unmeasurable random error term is there right and this and uh, so y is a also a function of this unmeasurable random error and which by definition cannot be predicted using x because originally we can we have not assumed that that it is as this this random factor is there when we predicted the f so uh, so therefore the very the variability associated associated with this epsilon or this random error factor also affects the uh, the accuracy of our final prediction that is y cap so this is known as irreducible error and because no matter how well we estimate f we cannot reduce the error introduced by this epsilon so there is two error terms one is reducible error which is coming from f cap the estimation of f cap and there is another error which is coming from the, this random error factor uh, unmeasurable random error factor which is called which is called irreducible error and in machine learning our focus our focus will be or in statistical learning our focus will be to minimize this reducible error we cannot reduce this uh, we cannot reduce this epsilon factor or this uh, this this unmeasurable random factor so so in statistical learning our target will be always to, uh, to uh, always to uh, always to minimize the reducible error and it is important to keep in mind that the irreducible error will always provide an upper bound of the accuracy of our prediction for y and this this bound is almost always unknown in practice so why this why is this irreducible error larger than zero and so so this quantity epsilon may contain unmeasured variables that are useful in predicting y but <clears throat> but we have not since we don't measure them if cannot use them for its prediction so uh, so the quantity epsilon may also contain some unmeasurable variation okay 
so suppose consider a function f cap and a set of predictor x which yields the prediction y cap equal to f cap of x so for a moment so just assume that both f cap and your x are fixed then it is easily we can show that uh, the the this e of y minus y cap square that is that represents the average or expected value of the square difference between the predicted and actual value of y but and this but there is a variance of this error term also is there and this is called the, the this this variance is associated with the error term epsilon and which is irreducible okay so Okay, okay. To understand this, uh, let's take a real life example. Suppose a doctor wants to uh, do a drug therapy on a on a patient. So he basically the doctor wants to prescribe a particular drug on a patient. Okay, and for that, suppose but doctor cannot prescribe any medicine or drug randomly on a patient because many drugs had some adverse reaction or effect uh, on a particular patient okay so to do that doctor needs to understand what are the risk factor associated uh, if he, he if he prescribe that uh, drug to to a particular patient okay and to understand or to analyze this thing, the doctor needs to uh, take some predictors from the blood samples of the patient. Okay, so these predictors are suppose some x1 to xp, okay, and this y variable basically uh, provides a quantitative measure of adverse reaction of a particular drug on a patient. Okay, so the so doctor can all be if for a unknown x variable unknown this predictors doctor can predict the adverse effect of the of the patient of the patient on the uh, adverse effect of the drug on the patient by using this function y cap equal to f cap of x okay so that is already is there in his laboratory or suppose he already in, in, in his computation system and he, he, he can apply that. So if this y is high then there is a risk factor, y is high then there is a risk factor and if y is, a, y is low then suppose there is, risk fact, there is no risk factor. Okay, so this is the in general case. But in real time or in real life what can happen that if this if doctor predicts this y cap is zero is y cap is um, suppose y cap is zero or very low so the risk factor is low then also the drug can can have an adverse reaction of on a, on a particular patient and that is because of the of that random factor or unmeasurable random factor for example wh what could be the random factor in this scenario the random factor would be like for example the risk of an adverse, re adverse reaction might vary for a particular patient on a given day depending on some manufacturing variation in the drug itself or the patient general feeling of well-being on that day so that those are those are things that are unmeasurable those are random and that can come into the come into the scenario and that could create problem so in that case our model our statistical learning model that is f cup of x will be will be detriment detrimental because there is always this error term is there which we are not modeling when we are modeling this f cap okay so this is basically independent this error term is independent of x okay okay so we already discussed that uh, how we can uh, decompose the prediction error in terms of reducible versus irreducible components and now I will uh, post the dis this decomposition a little further. 
So, I will uh, so breaking the reducible error into error due to bias and error due to variance. Okay, so reducible error is basically consists of two things it is that is error due to the bias and error due to the variance. Now, we need to understand what is these two things. So, in general we can we can say that sometimes the this this error due to bias occurs because your model is too rigid that it fails to capture the key features in the training set. Okay. And so this is basically a underfitting problem. So your model you will yield you will yield a model which is too simple minded or it is too simple that is it is not capturing the underlying the underlying statistics of the training data. Okay. So basically your model is biased towards a certain outcomes in spite of what the training the overall overall training set is saying. Okay. And another error that is variance error. Error due to variance that occurs because sometimes your method is simply follow the is simply memorize the things. So it doesn't generalize beyond the, your training so. So it's simply overfitting the data. Okay. And due to this variance, the method generates models that are strongly uh, so, so so due to this variance that your method is your model is basically memorizing the your training data. So in general, it doesn't generalize well. So this is an overfitting problem. So you can understand that the so total prediction error is error due to bias plus error due to variance and that is and all obviously there will be some irreducible error because of that uh, unmeasurable random factor right so now um, so now this high bias and high variance both the things are undesirable so we don't want underfitting problem or we don't want overfitting problem in your model so task of the machine learning is to to control this error and variance so to balance this error, error bias and variance to control the errors in machine learning okay so that is the task of a good machine learning engineer okay so in summary what we can say that there are two types of error in prediction models so one is reducible error and another is, is irreducible error and in real time prediction cannot be entirely error free because there will be some unmeasurable there may be some unmeasurable random factor which which is not considered in the prediction models so if that occurs then your prediction model will will fail so the so the task of the machine learning or statistical learning is to reduce uh, to reduce the error to uh, to uh, to minimize the reducible error which is consist of two factors that, that that is the bias and variance okay so task of the machine learning is to balance the ba ba bias and variance to control the error okay so that in that way we can find a uh, good predictive uh, predictive machine learning model okay so with this i am going to end this uh, video thank you for watching okay thank you very much